Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will troubleshoot the issue 100% disk uses on your Windows 10, 11 and other version of Windows. So we will go through with the six steps. Okay. So these are the six steps. Okay. We will go one by one. Okay. So first, uh, we need to disable the sysmain services. Okay. What is sysmain? Uh, the sysmain service is Windows inbuilt feature which enhances the performance of your applications but sometimes it consumes the more hard disk uses so we can disable this and check so go to services go to search bar and previously it was super fetch so right click uh, you can run it as administrator okay Sysmain is able to launch the fast uh, software and the applications, okay, since it's collecting the data in the background. So we can disable that. Click anywhere on the services space and then type S and look for Sysmain, okay. And you can also read the description, maintain and improve uh, system performance over time, okay. So this service takes the hard disk as well as the RAM. So we can disable that and check, okay. In order to disable this, right click on this, go to its properties, okay, and stop the service first, okay, and click on OK, and after that, check the your hard disk uses is okay or not, okay. If you see any decreases in the hard disk, so you can disable it permanently, okay. So you can need to right click on that, go to its properties, and disable the service okay so this wouldn't affect your system performance so close this option and restart your system okay you need to restart your system and after that you need to check if your issue is solved or not if not we can move to the second method okay in the second method we will perform the clean boot what does clean boot means the all the applications which are installed on our system runs in the background automatically so we can disable those okay so press window plus r button together or simply go to the search bar and then type the run like this a run command will open and now you need to type our ms config okay and hit ok option After that, you need to go to the services option. Okay. And then click on this option which says hide all Microsoft services. Tick this option. Okay. Now we can see the option. I am getting the enable option. Since I have already disabled all the third party except the Microsoft. So no harm to your computer. These application will run when we start those application but those will not run automatically in your windows okay so once you click on hide all microsoft services you need to click on disable apply okay and restart your system okay restart your system and check if your issue is solved or not sometime if the third party applications conflicting they can cause this issue as well so we can disable those apps okay so in the third method, we will increase our virtual memory. Okay. Virtual memory takes the storage from the hard disk. So if we can increase that, so this will boost our system performance as well as the less consumptions of disk uses. Okay. So in order to boost and increase the virtual memory, we need to go to the here and type for run as I already told you and type here the run command which is the shortcut key for all the windows version sysdm.cpl ok and hit ok you can also go to the system properties after that the advanced program will open like this ok you need to click on this option advanced okay 
and then you need to click on this option visual processor scheduling memory uses and virtual memory click on setting option now you need to click on advanced option and under the virtual memory click on change okay and you should see the gray option you need to uncheck this option automatically manage paging file okay and click on custom so here if you are using the 4 gb ram so we can put the mb into 1.5 larger okay so i will show you let me open the calculator here let's assume that you have 4 gb ram in your laptop or the system okay so uh, 1 gb is e is equal to 124 megabytes which is called mb so how to calculate it we can maximum uh, increase our size into 1.5 with your hardware memory so let's say i have 4 gb ram in my system so I need to uh, select 1025. 1025 is equal to 1 GB. Okay. So we can into it. Okay. Into it 4. Okay. Then equal like you will get the 4096 MB in your 4 GB RAM. Okay. So we can increase it to 1.5. Okay. So we can cal uh, we can into it like this and 1.5 now you can see so i can put here the 6144 here and the initial memory size is, is recommended that 1394 i should type here the recommended one and the maximum one i can put here 1661 double four okay if we have uh, 8 gb memory so how to calculate i will show you like if we have 8 gb 1024 these are the 1024 mb in 1 gb into 8 okay so you will get the numbers 8192 then you need to do into one point uh, sorry five so if you have 8 GB memory, you can put the size here 12288, okay, inside the maximum size. So after that, uh, you can calculate accordingly. Let me cut and click on set option after that. Click on OK. Okay, the changes. The changes you have made required reboot so click on ok click on ok apply click on ok click on ok okay you need to restart your system okay so i am clicking on restart later i will make a video after that i will restart my system but you need to restart your system now okay so it should resolve your issue since we have increased the virtual memory on our system okay so after restart if you are getting the same issue we can move to the fourth method okay so in the fourth method uh, we can scan our pc with the sfc command and repair the windows imaging services sometime if the windows file are corrupted as well as the windows image so we can face this issue as well so go to cmd and right click on it run it as a administrator click on yes button when the prompt opens and you need to type a sfc space slash scan now first command sfc stands for system file checker and this repairs the corruption inside your windows files and repair automatically so wait for the process 200 percent it will reach 200 percent if sometime if you see it it is stuck so wait and wait for the process to 100% okay so make sure it will reach to 100% after that close this and restart your system 
okay restart your system then after that we will perform the windows imaging services run it as a administrator again okay and let me put this command first this is the so this command will repair the windows imaging services so this one is for check health what is the health or rpc so hit this command first we can see zero component store corruption detected the operation completed successfully so there is no we need to hit another command here as well this will scan the any issues is okay uh, these commands will regenerate the windows imaging file if any corruption so let's wait now you will see it has started so i'm canceling this process but you need to make sure that you wait for the process to 100% if we get it stuck you need to wait okay so i'm canceling this process right now okay and after that you need to hit this command okay uh, this will restore all the issues if found any so copy you will get these commands into my description box or you can visit my website run it as administrator again click on the yes button when the prompt opens and hit this command okay this will run in a similar way but this will restore the health of your corruption inside which is related to windows imaging services okay so make sure you have enough patience and time and let it run okay so i'm canceling this process but you need after that uh, once all the three commands have run successfully you need to restart your system and your issue will be fixed okay in the fifth method we will disable the startup apps okay sometime uh, if you boot our system that third party software automatically starts so those software automatically run in the backgrounds as well as on the startup so our system takes more time to boot and this will affect our system performance so we can disable the startup apps okay right click on it go to task manager option go to startup okay and now you can see uh you can disable all the apps here right click on it disable cortana already disable here and disable like so and microsoft edge microsoft team as well is it disable only you need to leave it windows security notification okay this one is for security reasons so you need to make sure you can enable this option okay all the apps you can disable so we have performed five steps so hope your issue will be resolved if still not resolved we have the powerful command to repair the hard disk okay so hard disk or ssd so let me put the command here go to cmd and this will take 2 to 3 hours to repair bad sectors and as well as the hardware corruption so this command will take 2 to 3 hours okay to scan your all the bad sectors and the corruption inside your hard drive or the ssd the command is chhk dsk space slash f space slash r okay r will repair the bad sectors f will repair the any corruptions you need to press here y okay and then you need to hit enter and restart your system this process will take 3 to 4 hours but this is very powerful command this will go to five stages so hope your issue is fixed now if your issue is fixed then hit like subscribe and share Thank you thanks for watching